Hi guys and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. I'd like to expand upon my last video uh, in which I talked about batch files and in this one I want to talk about some things that you can do with batch files in regards to your client. So this is not for servers and um, two things I'm going to show you in this video. One is how to change where your .minecraft directory is and the other is how to change the amount of RAM that's allocated to your Minecraft client. So um, first why would you want to change your Minecraft directory? Well, in my case, I have .minecraft in my Google Drive. And what that means is that on my laptop or any other computers that I use, if I can just sync up with my G Drive, that means that I can play Minecraft without having to install all my mods uh, or lose all my saves or uh, relocate all my, my texture packs. Basically, all my settings and everything will be synced up. And so I'm essentially playing on the same .minecraft directory across all of my computers. Uh, and the way I do that is I have this link on my desktop, which leads to, in this case, start Minecraft Flynn, because that's the name of my computer. This would be my laptop. And then uh, that will start minecraft.exe, and it will tell it to make the .minecraft directory in this folder, in which case there already is one, so it'll just use this one. Um, and so let's go over how to do that from scratch. So I have this folder here, and we have a bat file, and we have minecraft.exe. So let's edit this. And so what we have is basically the basics of what we need to start our uh, Minecraft client. Actually, this part you don't even need. This is just telling it that the maximum amount of RAM that Minecraft can use is two gigabytes. And you can use XMS for the minimum and XMX for the maximum. Now, what we need to put in to change where the app data folder is, is this right here. So lowercase set, capital L, app data equals. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here, control, or here, I'll go ahead and right click, copy, and paste. And so now we're telling it that c colon users flynn, which is my username, desktop, and then the folder that I created called client, which is this one right here, is going to be where uh, .minecraft should be either created or used from. So in this first case, it's going to create it because there isn't one yet. So let's save that. It will generate a .minecraft directory from scratch and basically create all the necessary resources and folders. Um, and then when you sign in and you load a version, it will have the version in this folder here. Uh, whenever you save a screenshot, it'll create a screenshot folder and put it in here as well. And one thing to note is that uh, when you do it this way, you're gonna get this command prompt window and it's basically just telling you everything that's going on in the background. Uh, so if there's like errors, it'll it's basically a way of debugging. Uh, if Minecraft doesn't start, it'll say what the error was and, and etc. But once you get the game actually running, uh, basically after signing in and clicking play, you don't really need this window anymore. You can close it. If you close it beforehand, though, you'll see that it completely closes out the game because it's not running yet. So uh, it's just one thing to keep in mind. So I hope you guys find some use for this. And yeah, take care. <laughs> 